welcome back in our lesson. I am your teacher, Herald M. Reforma. Welcome in TLE EM9. For this lesson, we are going to discuss the safety storage of electrical power and hydraulic tools. Our learning objective is familiarize with the safety rules in storing electrical power and hydraulic tools. Distinguish electrical power and hydraulic tool and appreciate the importance of proper safety storing of electrical power and hydraulic tools. So let's have first a activity. For the directions, take a look at the photo and know what it means by filling some missing letters to reveal the words. So, in this activity class, I am going to show you photo, a photo and you will guess what it is. Okay? And then for the first one, I will give you 10 seconds. Okay? Can you identify it? The given letters is T and O and S. Okay, let's see what is your answer. I hope you get the correct answer. And the correct answer is the tools. Okay, for the second one is we have a given letter is F, S, F, Y, R, L, and S. Okay. Let's see what is the correct answer. Safety rules is the correct answer. I hope you get the correct answer, class. And for the third and last, the given letter is O, G, I, and Z. Can you guess what is the letter or what is the missing letter? And let's see what is the correct answer. Organize. I hope you get all the correct answer for the three uh, photos that I shown. And let's move on in our lesson proper. So in this lesson, teaching young people to properly handle power tools and take safety procedure by heart represent a continual challenge and a serious responsibility. To avoid accident, power tools operator must be knowledgeable in handling these tools. Aside from safety handling of power tools, operators should be should develop a organized way on how to store the tools safely. So, let's discuss the safety storage of electrical power and hydraulic tools. So first, provide an organized rack, bin, or tools panel for safe storing of electrical tools and other materials. And the second one is don't store tools, supply, or spare parts in the aisles or on the floor where they become tripping hazard. And third is keep other flammable materials away from heater and welding areas to prevent fire. So for the first bullet class, kailangan daw uh, kung tayo ay mayroong mga tools, we must provide a toolbox or any panel na pwedeng maging maging lagayan or cabinet na pwedeng pagtaguan ng mga tools natin para hindi sila nakakalat. And then the second bullet is iwasan natin maglagay ng mga uh, tools or mga lagay ng tools sa uh, nadadaanan kasi possible na hindi ito makita or pwede din maging cause ito ng pagkatalapid or aksidente. And the third is uh, kailangan yung mga flavorable materials natin is isi-secure natin sila. Ilayo natin sila sa mga uh, possible na maging cause ng pag-apoy nito. Let's continue. For the uh, first bullet again, grease, oil, or paint and solvent should be stored in a closed metal ca container, uh, preferably in a metal cabinet. So, kailangan meron tayong lagayan ng mga uh, oil na to, o yung mga paint, o yung mga liquid na flammable, it is must be stored in a metal container. At the same time, itatago natin sila sa metal din na cabinet para secured sila. So, iwas din kasi na, na uh, matunog sila at the same time, make sure na hindi sila malapit sa mga flammable materials at the same time. Okay? And then, yung gasoline or other fuel should never be stored inside a shop. Supply tools and equipment should be stored in any area design specifically for them. So, ayan. So, yung mga gasoline natin, huwag natin ilagay sa mga 
about plastic bottle lang na basta or anything na, na madaling maging cost ng accident or maging cost ng hazard. So, kailangan yung mga gasoline, like yung mga fuel o yung mga gasoline natin, yung mga flammable materials natin na yan, uh, must be stored properly nang hindi sila maabot ng mga bata din. Okay? And then, third is electrical power and hydraulic tools should have its own rack or tool panel. So, may mga lagayan tayo. So, minsan, wala tayong mga malalaking cabinet sa mga shop natin o sa mga bahay natin. Pwede na rin natin silang ilagay sa maayos na toolbox. Or kung wala talaga tayo yung, yung mga nabibiling toolbox, we can provide. Pwede tayong kumuha ng mga uh, gumawa ng mga box uh, made of metal or made of wood na pwede natin doon isalansan yung mga tools natin para maitabi natin sila ng maayos. At tatago natin sila doon sa mga area na iwas na maging hazard sila or iwas na maka-accidente sila. Okay, possible. Maganda yan sa mga garahe. Pwede din natin silang ilagay sa ilalim ng mga lababo. O kaya naman kung, kung meron tayong another room na pwedeng paglagyan at hindi sila magiging hazard, pwede natin sila doon i-store o sa mga cabinet natin. Okay? So, for our activity, after our discussion, I have prepared here a, a what's more. So, dito sa activity na to is we are going to read and identify the hazard in the selection, underline the statement uh, that can harm or cause accident. Be ready to explain your answer in a follow-up discussion with your teacher via Google Meet. So, dito is merong scenario na ang, ang gagawin natin is kailangan ninyo basahin yung nasa learning packet ninyo and then you need to identify kung ano yung mga, pa, mga, mga scenario doon sa statement na binasa natin kung ano yung mga possible na maging hazard or ano yung pwedeng maging cause ng isang aksidente and then I underline them and then tomorrow kapag tinawag ko kayo is explain ninyo bakit yun yung naging ah uh, an identify ninyo na hazard. Okay? So, for the next activity, for what I can do, ang gagawin naman natin dito is, uh, we are going to identify yung mga given tools natin dito, we are going to classify them. It is electric, uh, electric power tools or a hydraulic tools. For example, number one, it is already, already given electric drill. So, lahat ng electrical power tools, ilagay ninyo dito sa column na to, and lahat ng hydraulic tools naman, is ilagay nyo din sa column sa right side natin, yung 6 to 10. Okay? So, tomorrow in our follow-up discussion, we are going to check it. Okay? And then, for your written words, 30% of your grade, answer what I have learned. So, so what I have learned na to is we have the direction, fill in the blank with the correct word to complete the sentence, choose your answer from the box. Okay, so in your learning packet, makikita nyo rin po ito. Kung ano yun nandyan, sa learning packet niyo same na same lang din po nito. We are, we have here, na yung mga giving words natin is yung aisles, uh, assemble, flammable, gasoline, hydraulic, and metal. For the first questions is don't store tools, supplies, or spare parts in the blank or on the floor where they can where they become stripping hazard. And then number two, uh, keep other blank materials away from heater and welding areas to prevent fire. And then for the third questions, grease oil, paint, and solvent should be stored in a closed blank container, preferably in metal cabinet. And then for number four, fuel or blank should never be stored inside a shop. And then number five, Electrical power and blank tool should have its own rack or tool panel. So, nandiyan lahat class yung mga choices natin. So, identify nyo na lang siya. Para makakuha kayo ng perfect score, you can uh, review yung previous discussion natin, yung diniscuss lang natin kanina, or basahin nyo ulit sa learning packet ninyo para makuha ninyo yung mga missing word dyan sa ating fill in the blank. Okay? And then, for your performance tasks, 70% of your grade, answer additional activities. So, dito sa activity naman na to is magkakaroon tayo ng uh, isang activity na kailangan nating i-uncode yung isang uh, hidden message 
na compose ng mga letters. So, nandito yung mga corresponding letters na nagagawin natin. Okay, for example, yung letter A is ang corresponding katumbas na letter niya kapag kinonvert natin siya is letter B and then so on so forth. So, nandiyan na po yung example. Para mas maintindihan, uh, the cheaper above show a, a left shift of 1. Okay, using the cheaper, the sentence keep safe can be written as LFFQTBGF. So, this technique also called Caesar cheaper was used by Julius Caesar in his private correspondence. So, ganun siya kadaling i-identify class. So, meron tayong ipapakita sa inyo ng mga code. Ayan na yon. So, ito na yung i-decode ninyo. So, yung BGMZ na yan is kapag ginamit nyo yung, yung table na pinakita ko kanina is makukuha nyo yung katumbas na word niya. So, kailangan nyo lang siyang i-convert and then isasend nyo yung gawa natin sa messenger or sa ating Google Classroom. So, ipopost ko bukas yung ating mga activity sa Google Classroom para dun yung isubmit yung activity natin na to. So, kailangan nyo yung kunan o take, take a picture ng na-decode nyo ng uh, word na to and then yun yung i-upload nyo sa Google Classroom natin. So, class, yan na po ang end ng ating lesson for today. So, See you for tomorrow na sa ating follow-up discussion. Uh, join on time in our Google Meet and then thank you class. I am Herald and Reforma, your TLE teacher, EIM9. Thank you.